Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to part one of Lunacy. This is a Moonular Megawad created by the Pineapple Under the Sea speed mapping series and led by Death Bear, who's in the voice chat with me right now. Rar. Yes, that's Death Bear. I'm going to actually do something real quick since I just launched PR Boom. I'm gonna stream this to Death Bear. Um, I'm also gonna take my hoodie off so y'all get to hear me do that. Woo! Ah. Oh. Ah. Incredible opening to a video, Pineapple. Incredible. Hold on. Alright. I just took my hoodie off. So, Death Bear, what is lunacy? It's a boob map set of... I lost track. 40-some maps by a whole bunch of mappers. It's all about our hero, Zorglo, going after the last cheese in the universe on the moon. Beautiful. Would you call this a cheesy map set? Super cheesy. Well, I like Provolone, so this is going to be fun. I have played a quite, quite a bit of this WAD, but never recorded it, so... I'll be playing on ultra cheesy difficulty. Which is, um... Apt in that it, you know, cheese WAD, but... Let's get to it. Main gimmick of this WAD is that every level has, um... Outdoor areas... On the surface of the moon that will... damage the player if they do not have uh, an astronaut suit. <laughs> an astronaut, a space suit. Space suit. There's also going to be a lot of cheese, as you're about to see in here in a minute. But this is fly me to the moon. My mouse is not behaving. Even then. I have it stuck in my Bucky's mug right now. So yeah, there's a bunch of tech bases. Really pretty map set. I, I really like this wad a lot. I did not know you could get up here. It doesn't seem to be anything up here, but... Oh, am I wrong? Maybe. Pineapple Under the Sea Speed Mapping presents... Following the tradition of many a post event where we have a short intro to just provide the context of what is this wad, what kind of fight do you to expect. Um, what was the first intro map? Project was The first there. intro map was in 13. That was true, entry line. Yep, that was my idea to do that. An incredible idea. It's something we've been doing for a before from now. Yeah, we started doing credits maps with Trick and Terror 2 and then intro maps with uh, 13. So. Oh! Oh, I should be doing that. That's actually the name of the map, Cheese Wiz. I will be playing this continuous. Ah, shit. There is a, uh, a secret on this map, right? Yes. Where, is it in the cheese area? It's right near the end. Okay. Good to know. Uh oh. Huh. Oh, 
we take a lot of damage. Plus 25. And might I also say that I got the numer the Roman numerals right the first time on this one. Yeah. We have a tendency to mess it up. What was it? What was no, the event that we? I did? mean, I I did with uh, quote the Raven. Oh. I met oh. twice actually. <laughs> Where's the? Uh, is, embarrassing. This, is this just a teleporter back? Yeah, it's back. Where's the sea? Is it in here? Waterfall secret, maybe cheese balls. Beautiful. Yeah, I forgot there was a custom secret sound that I got off the internet. Cool. Fly me to the moon. By you. Eat that cheddar. I, Zorglo... Get, get that cheddar. Get that cheddar, yes. I, Zorglo Blaskovich the Ninth, was catching up on the latest news on my iPhone when I realized I was hungry. But the whole universe has a shortage. Scrambling across Bird App, now owned by SpaceX, I found that the only remaining cheese in the universe is on Luna. Aboard my unidentified flying saucer, I warp jumped to the moon. Unfortunately, all of those annoying aliens that I just deleted from my galaxy are holding the cheese hostage for an astronomical cost. Time to kick some ass and get that cheddar. If this doesn't get a cake award, I don't know what will. So much character. I think we're ever gonna do a Plutonia wad? As in puss. I don't know. Maybe. This map has 66 monsters. One secret. I'm thinking about, um... For all future events that we run, I would like to put a hard limit of 75 monsters. Well, not all events, but most of them. Wow. Guess it depends on what you're trying to do with the event. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think for some of them, like the 200 limit was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, you can get a, you can get mileage out of two hundred without having to be, you know, rude about it. Ooh, excuse me, that was a burp. I'm just curious to see what people are capable of creating with some of the time limits, or what monster counts. Let's see if I can kill these guys without dying myself. Awesome, they dealt with themselves. Alright, so this is the exit with the yellow key. Oh, there was ammo in this room, too. Was this open the whole time? This door? Or does this open when you get the blue key? No, it opens when you get that key. Okay. To let you circle back. Cheddar. How do I get up there? Shh, it's a secret. 
I imagine. You have to find the secret. Huh? You have to find the secret. Yeah, I said you have to find the secret. I'll it's, find it. It's not crazy where, like, it's in, like, it's not, like, in a completely different area of the map. So, it shouldn't be that bad. Is this a Jimmy Medi? Uh, I'm not, I can't hear it, so I'm not sure. Probably. That's a cool secret, I like that. Oh, fuzz. My, my instinct with this yellow liquid is that it's always going to hurt me. Ooh, tall torch. Oh, map two. Now this is a Tristan Clark. Okay. Gorgeous. I think somebody just knocked on my door. I'm not too certain, though. One moment. I'm going to stand up. And I'm going to walk over here. Oh, this is crazy. Nobody knocked. Alright, let's get that cheddar, baby. So you said you like this event more than um, 13, yeah? Uh, I mean, yeah. I feel like I did, and I feel... I mean, like, yeah, there's a few different things. But yeah, I don't know. I, uh, there was just some things about it that just made it a lot more enjoyable, and I already enjoyed 13, so. Yeah, and maps for this project, for you viewers watching, maps for this project were made in three hours or less. Which is impressive. A lot of cuts had to be made for some of these levels. I know I had to do that on mine. I think some of my some of my personal work previous to this had seen me like uh, get more conservative with like my scope. Mm -hmm. So uh, I found the, the three hours actually really good. I think it's really conducive to making great levels real quick without having them be uh, too speed heavy, you know? It's at like perfect middle ground. I, I think. F I, we've never done a four hour event. I'd be interested uh, to see what that's like. Oh, that's. Pac Man, Pac -Man was four only four hours? Yeah. God, I, I could have sworn it was a lot longer than that. I don't think so. I think it was four hours. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but that was the only one I kind of remember being that long. Something I wanted to, I've been meaning to ask you, do you, or ask it a lot of people actually, should I reduce the Lost Souls health in Chilling Winds of This? It's something I've been thinking oh, about, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I'd, I'd say probably not, since maps have already been balanced around lost souls that don't do that much damage. So, fun fact, some of the uh, the guts of this map, I actually rebuilt. Like, I, I redrew the lines, but it was an initial idea I had for a Pandemonium Speed Weeks map. Oh, wow. So, I kind of, like, took... It was just like major rooms before I scrapped it and went with the other idea I had for that wad, so... That's fun. I actually, uh... And then I, uh, expanded on the idea. It turned out a nice little moon base. Cool. Fun stuff. Lactose Facility by Lena. This one has a big slaughter fight at the end of it. That's correct. 
right. A lot easier in this final version than it originally was. I can imagine it was... it's still a nice challenge, but yeah. Oh shit. I can imagine it was quite the scorcher. I want health. Yeah, continue this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, have fun with that. So we didn't, we didn't really uh, balance it accordingly in those. Sometimes we think about it. We don't always do that. Uh, just as far as the, you know, adding health at the end or thinking about it. That's something that, uh, that's very interesting to me, how I how I enforce pistol starts on a lot of our older ones. Sometimes it makes sense, like, uh, did I do it on Summer of Slaughter? I can't quite recall. I don't remember. Although that's not a that's not a map set that I sat down to play and record yet. So. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. well, you know, project lead moment. But yeah, I, uh, I haven't got there yet. That may end up being one of the last ones to <laughs> do. Well, I mean, there's... Unlikely to be a last if we keep going at the rate we are. Oh, I mean, just like, if I'm going in order a series... You know, I wanted to start fresh on everything and just like, go through mm -hmm. some of them. Well, I wanted to go through all of them eventually, but... Series? You know, that may be one I have to do in several sittings. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. It takes a while. It took a while for me to be. Because the eighth, like, that was the first post event I, well, second, technically. It was the second, or it was the first that I intentionally set out to change the map order after the event began. The first I actually changed was Rude of Mount, uh, March of the Speed Demons for, uh, reasons you know. About but, slipped that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, almost. The, um,. Summer of Slaughter, I knew from the beginning, like, it was going to be pretty contentious in terms of... Well, you did you did a little bit of reordering with a perfect patron, but not much. We marched the speed. You're right. Thing. Yeah, it was because of the secret map, right? Or one of the maps sent to me was... Uh, it has something to do with one of Sandwich's maps. Yeah, they, they are reversed in terms of the order they were sent to me. I, I I wish I I did this um, more in my levels with uh, the cheese being like an actual physical Doom Cube cheese. That you can, like, interact with. I hate to say I never considered that. It's really cute. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was always kind of the uh, the intention. But, uh, I do. You know, I also had these areas as well. So. I actually do have a Doom Cube uh, cheese thing in my map, but you don't really interact with it. You do see it though. It's where the red key is. I'll talk about that more. Oh, I'm really proud of that uh, tree replacement too. Uh, that was definitely the, the lander. I'll talk about um, my level a little bit more when, we're, when we get there. I love that. I mean, a lot of it, but the um, uh, we're not gonna get there tonight. I always intended that to be kind of like I don't want to say the origin of the cheese outbreak, but like I wanted to have some visual storytelling in that. I had like a giant laboratory with like cheese tests that were going on. Oh, yes.
damn. The cheese, give us the cheese. Take it away! That's a lot of damage. Anytime I pick up a health pack and it gives me that uh, that message of oh you got a health pack you really need, it really takes me back to uh, my first few times playing the ultimate game back a few years ago. There's something about just like trying to survive. That feels very ultimate in the game, you know. Hard to describe. Shit. Listening to that door. I don't think this wad or this map is dumb with the surprises it's gonna give me. Hope it's not done to give me health. level. Gores. I did not see who this was by. Gor this is also by Lena. Okay. Gorgon Zorglo. It's interesting, uh, plus series one, because I, uh, I went back to play some other stuff the other day, particularly Summer of Slaughter, and it's just kind of crazy, like, to see and think about all the work that I put into it, and how I've just kind of forgotten that it exists, you know? Like, even mapping at warp speed. Feels like, I don't know, an eternity ago. For real. <laughs> I mean, I definitely feel that way. Uh, 
by the time most people were playing my maps, they're, you know, two years old. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, I can be proud of, you know, what I did and where I've been, but it's just like, yeah. Not my, uh... You know, it's like looking back at a sketchbook when you were learning something, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like, you'd be proud you accomplished something and you were learning and you created something pretty cool, but knowing what you could do now and what you would have done differently, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. Like, side of the sewer where it goes. As far as... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a neat detail I haven't noticed until now. These stairs have little red caution stripes on them. And these have little blue caution stripes on them, detail, uh, signaling that one path will take you through the red key and one will take you through the blue key. Nice little subtle detail there. Interesting. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of the enemies. Let's head back home. I love that ending so much. Mumi. I did not see the map name. Is this another cheese infused hallucination? Or have these primitive life forms found a way to cultivate a nest of feta growth in space? That would be the biggest news since Emperor Knowledge ended the prohibition of liquid Zola. Excellent reference back to. The Puss Lore, Emperor Knowledge being a, a fixture of that. Back in mapping at warp speed, he was the uh, knowledge of the Gorpy Lawn sector of space, I think. I typically judge the quality of a post event based on how many maps Moody submitted to it. When he gets excited about something, he just goes for it. Yeah. So, that must say something about Quick and Dirty, I guess. How many did you make for Quick and Dirty? Uh, enough to cover the entire Fast and Furious franchise, I think. Jeez. You think all of them were a Slave Watch uh, reference to Fast and Furious? That's that's really cool. Yeah, because I was about to ask, like that was one of the gimmicks um, that you can make a Fast and Furious reference in the map. How many? Actually, well, it was a bit diesel reference, but yeah, exactly. Uh, we had we had quite a few, um, more than I honestly expected. Oh! I've never seen those films, so I, I could not contribute. Oh, I saw like uh, the first few. Uh, my dad wanted to sit down and watch them, so we had watched a few of them. I don't remember how far I made. I think the last one I saw was the one, the last one that Paul Walker was on before he died. Oh.
Never seen the triple X movie either, so. Riddick, yeah, I've seen Riddick. There's a, uh, in the F1 menu bay, there's a prompt that says F F9. Uh, damn it, I knew it. F9 ends the game. I like how Mumi's maps are typically never um, orthogonal. They, they always look... Um, it's weird to say since every Doom map is this way, but they look hand-drawn, you know what I mean? Oh, yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, the shapes of rooms are never just, like, square. They always have, like, a... Yeah, they have, like... See this shape? kind of like a a shape <laughs> I respect that Almost all of the enemies. Did you reorder the maps of Lunacy at all, or did they just come out? Yeah, you can. One no, I did not reorder. I've got to move my car. I'll be right back. I got to pause the recording. All right, I'm back. Recording's on pause. Ah. Ooh, I'm out of ammo. Whoa. Okay. 
Are there any uh, Tyson maps in this set? Uh, not that I recall. Uh, we have a nearly, almost completely archfile map. Huh. I don't think we have huh. that. Who made that? Uh, I made part of it. Actually, uh -oh. I made most of it. It was, it was actually an idea of uh, Phoenix's, and they did about an hour on the map, and then I did everything else. And they were like, I was trying, I was, I was thinking like a archfile thing, like this map and this map. Reference like uh, there was a BTSX map somewhere along the line. That was... Yeah, so like I went and like referenced those maps and then I uh, made a map. Yeah, it was fun. It's awesome. Yeah. It's a nice little gimmicky thing, I guess. We've also got New Base, which I look forward to yeah. seeing you attack. <laughs> I love that level. <laughs> New Base. Ah, uh, this fight's cool. No base is Archfile or Arrival, but... But with Lim is... I, I love the visual imagery of a... Ah... Uh, uh, the, the twist of a corrupted hell base, but instead of like flesh, it's just cheese. Yes, exactly. I was hoping we'd see more of it, but uh, I like what we got. Better to have a good amount of a good. Uh, better to not over. Of a good thing. Hmm? Small amount of a good thing. Yeah. Too much of a sucky thing, yeah. Yeah, rather than overdoing it. Jeez. We should have we should have renamed the uh, cell portion on the hub HUD to uh, cheese. <laughs> like the plasma <laughs> plasma gun is just shooting like molten cheese. <laughs> Maybe if we ever do uh, do a cheesy follow up. I would love to. Maybe. Making cheesy tech bases is really fun. see the fire on myself. that did but I want it. I'll take a look at that later.
my hard work. There we go. Is that a bear? A cheesy bear? I think that's Death Bear. That is Death Bear. See the hat, the hat and the cape? Ah, oh, cheesy Death Bear. <laughs> is that a seat? He ate too much cheese, man. He became a cheese bear. Oh, jeez. I, I don't have the ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot him. Ah, <laughs> the cheese truck. Perfect. Gouda Arboretum. Cool level. Mummy's always, uh, always talks about the park. Um, yeah. What a megawatt, man. How long is the next one? Do you know? Sapphire Station. I, confused as ever, notice a blue beacon in the distance. Being careful not to trip or fly off the big gray rock, I make my way over towards the outpost with the sign saying, Sapphire Station, Recon Relay. Yo, bear. Bear? Yes. How long is this level? I'm sorry, Sapphire Station, it's not too long. Okay, I'll do this one and then I'll... It's yeah. an H map. So, not too long. Oh, they opened the door. What? I think I have, yeah, I've, I've played a good bit of these first, like, ten maps or so. What's up, dude? I was running out of breath. use of an upper texture on that sector right there. It's one of the more creative waterfalls I've ever seen. That's really cool. I really like that.
No! Uh... stuff all right yeah i'm gonna call it there for lunacy for uh, part one five maps uh this is one of my favorite post projects i really like playing this one I'm really glad to finally record it and get through the rest of it past where i have not played um yeah take care everybody um check out posts if you haven't check out death Bear stuff um death Bear, if you want to say anything now bye all right, peace, y'all. Next, in the next video, we'll be playing Give Me Cheese or Give Me Death. Is, is this by Cheese Wheel? Yes, it is. I've got to play this on one health, or maybe I'll just... Who knows? We'll see. All right, bye, y'all.